way to Ark Wildlife Park, which is in Boston near Skegness. We set off a bit late though, yeah, or later than we planned. So we hope we're gonna get there in time to see all the animals. But if not, it's been a run out. We've had um, storm after storm after storm. Every weekend we've planned to come here, haven't we? And it's just been a no-go area. So we've been stuck in the house doing decorating and we'll we're going to see what it's like. scared of an animal called Dave. To show she is alive, she's she's not a toy. A lot of people think that she's a toy. Beautiful Tanzanian red clawed scorpion. And Ooh. Dave can do a magic trick. Could I borrow your coat? It's quite yeah. dark, so I'll sh shine that light on it. It's sort of a dull boy colour. See, it's not very interesting. Let's see what happens when I shine this on Dave. She turns <gasps> wow. bright blue. Get a close Whoa. look at that. Ooh. Beautiful turquoise colour. Jetback scorpion, bright blue. Wow. <laughs> this happens uh, because of the UV light. There's a chemical in her shell which reacts with it. All scorpions can do this, um, whatever continent they come from. What do you think's coming next? I am okay. Next up, we yeah. have a <gasps> dragon. <laughs> He's lost his wings though. Um, this is Loki. Um, Loki is a bearded dragon. Um, not an actual dragon, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Just a lizard called a bearded dragon. And if you guys want to give him a stroke on his back, you can. Yeah, he's quite rough and also very, very warm. He's used to a very hot environment. Um, so he has to have it nice and heated in his in Oh, wow, it's really dry. Because if you also, you can feel the spikes down the side. They're not sharp, they won't hurt you. They're just display spikes to make him look bigger and more threatening and more difficult to eat. Because if you're a bird of prey looking around for a snack, you're not going to want to eat that, are you? Can they see all around them then? You know, with the eyes at the uh, side? Yeah, they can sort of see quite a lot. Um, not. They do have blind spots, obviously right in front of them and right behind them. Um, but he can he can sort of see all around. Okay. Look at his ears. He's a little poser. <laughs> yeah. You know, you just climb. That would let me have a climb. A bit of a love. <laughs> he does like sitting up on my shoulder. That's a bit his favourite place to sit. It's obviously a nice high vantage point so he can see all around. Um, so out in the wild, these guys, they'd find the highest spots that they can. They'd bask up there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's like a sea snake. He is called Guy Fawkes and he Guy is Fawkes. a similar milk snake. Yet, yeah. guess which date he was brought in on? <laughs> um, we decided to give him a festive name because of that. It's not because he likes setting things on fire. Um, he's a very pretty little similar milk snake. And again, if you want to give him a stroke down his back, you can. He's, oh, he feels very different to what Loki did. He's oh. lovely and soft and silky and smooth. But if you feel under his belly, he's especially silky under there. Yeah. <gasps> oh, so wow. wow! Yeah. A lot of people are surprised. Snake. He's a Sinaloa milk snake, um, so part of the milk, milk snake, king snake. snake family. Can I have my hand, Guy? Thank you. <laughs> um, family of snakes Michael, famous for having these bright you. colours, and that helps defend them from predators. So by having these bright colours, that's a warning saying, whatever you do, don't touch me, I'm highly venomous. What do they eat? Um, tree frogs. Uh, mostly rodents, um, so he eat the mostly eat rodents. Is he um, an adult then? Yeah, he's fully grown as he is. Um, so like I was saying, it says that he's venomous, but he's actually not. He's just a little trickster. Makes <laughs> animals think that he's dangerous when actually he's completely harmless. <laughs> yeah, where are you going, guy? I'm trying to go up my sleeve. <laughs> Yeah, he does he have very shiny scales. So that's just a natural oil, so if he went into water, then the water would run straight off him. Bit of a clever way of keeping himself a little bit warmer. What are you doing, Guy? Can you have my hand I think back? I just live up in trees. 
Um, he uh, is partially arboreal, so he'd live mostly on the ground, um, but he'd also climb trees if he wanted to. As you can see, he's quite quite good at climbing yeah. when he wants to. He's wrapped around my arm. I don't need to hold on to him now. He's yeah. holding me. I have a nice Gucci bracelet. Please <laughs> um, live on the road as well. Oh uh, yeah, most most reptiles are solitary as a general rule. Um, some can be kept together. Um, uh, for example, our iguanas. Iguanas are quite a social species. They are very very flexible. Yeah. They have very thin yeah. skeletons that they can. So I'm, I'm surprised they, they don't get all ways. tangled up. No, <laughs> like yeah. not this to get themselves in a knot. Yeah, he he can always unknot himself. He's very aware of where the rest of his body is. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's again, he's Hello. very noisy. <laughs> you're in his new. I don't know where you've gone. There gone. It's amazing how people are all scared of snakes. Yeah, no, but they're actually, they're just very shy, very gentle animals. And they deserve so much more love than they get. Can you come yeah. back round, please, mister? I saw a snake when we went to Florida and it was in the uh, pool. Well, not in the pool. It was yeah. at the side of the pool. You had to get rid of it, didn't you? I, I don't think I would have dared. Because we didn't want to ring the pool people, did we? Because we didn't know what they'd do to them, so we put it back in wild. Yeah. Hunting food, like everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody loves food. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, these guys especially, they love their food. Though he only gets fed once a week. Really? Yeah. If we, if we were to feed him every day, we'd end up with a fat snake. They're not designed <laughs> to eat every them. day. <laughs> uh, kind of, yeah, but they eat mice and rats, so we have to buy mm, frozen right. uh, frozen mice for him. Um, yeah, and have the heater on constantly 24 yeah, 7. And then buy the vivarium and all the accessories so a big electric for him. Bill. Yeah, um, and the actual snake itself can be quite expensive sometimes. Um, so it, it can be quite expensive to get a reptile. Um, mm -hmm. Do you get funding or anything, or is it all from? It's all from people coming in, and um, we also we offer exper experiences. So we do private encounters for people. Um, we've basically got a private encounter today. Um, and um, school, and school. Uh, yeah, we yeah. do school groups as well. Yeah, um, but no. Aside from that, we don't get any outside funding, unfortunately. Yeah, it's cute. It's good. So if you're 
Anyway, they escaped me. Let's have a look. Good jumping. Don't get in the sludge. Whoa! And left me through all this mud. I would have slipped and fallen my bottom. I know I am. I walk on the grass. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah.